Yeah, so what's up next for you then? You, you're... Good, good on you, Darren. I'm very happy for you. It's Congratulations your... to yeah. both of you. She's your problem now. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to be heading back to Canada uh, in July. I've got a couple shows in uh, BC. Then I've mm. got my US tour starting up uh, August 10th. Uh, I get back to Vancouver around so the So Texas same. alone is one end of the country to the other. Or? Oh, it's so great. And then, you get, <laughs> and then we come all the way back. I love road tripping. It's the best thing. We just went up to Manchester and got lost on the way back. It was so much fun. It's three in the morning and we're just driving around this field going, where are we? So that was really hilarious. Yeah, Manchester, <laughs> Manchester's a cool city, though. I liked yeah, it. Different, it really different cool. reaction in different cities? Um, I think it's the same in every city, depending on the people you talk to. I yeah. think it's, it's the, each city has a little pocket of the same people. It's it, different social groups, different reaction. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. Well, I wonder if the pink hair has anything to do with that. You know what? Every now and then I will be like, why is that person staring at me on the bus? Then I remember <laughs> I have pink hair and I'm like, oh, right, that's probably... So the first time I've met them, I've gone... Oh, that's a facial expression. Sorry, listeners. I've, I've um, <laughs> balked and gone, okay, that's interesting. What's the issue with that? Um, a good friend of mine has scarification on her arms, and that oh, was the okay. issue there. Um, I was curious about it. I wasn't judging her, but it yeah, was. No. Um, but it's interesting. Yeah, I mean the, the pink hair thing. Uh, you, but you have consciously chosen to be that way. The, the, oh no, it's totally natural. And the tape. <laughs> and the taping on the and the taping on the mic is the same thing. You're choosing. Yeah, what you stand for. It's you know. It's one thing to be a singer. It's another to be um, to be out there and to be like this is what I stand for. It, it's scary putting yourself on the line. And like I mean, I do a lot of. Yeah. Role-playing, cosplaying, and other extremely nerdy activities that I was severely bullied for in high school. And it's, it's really been freeing to just stand up and be like, no, I'm going to be myself. And I, I don't care if I'm awkward on camera at this interview. Like, you know, if people like me, they can like me. And if not, then that's cool. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, and cosplaying is what? <laughs> cosplaying is uh, the art of making costumes and dressing up as um, video game or anime or cartoon characters. And, uh, yeah, when you get hold of the Adamantine Hearts EP, there is a track on there. Rock and, Rock and Roll, Roll Play, Play Baby. Baby, which is about that issue, but... <laughs> it's, um, yeah, 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 it's kind of about, like, you know, falling in love with your video game avatar and falling in love with your alter ego and liking that life a little bit more than the real one. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I, I've said this on air before. I, I've, I've escaped into... into I mean, I, I'm more conversational than gaming as a mm -hmm. person. But I kind of bailed out of... of person of the physical space interactions and went and chat chatted to people online for most of my childhood and so I can relate to the same kind of thing. I did the same thing all through my teenage years, always online talking <laughs> to people. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, uh, but I'm one, very, very one-handed and so gaming, up until now when they've started putting sensory uh, uh, sensors, movement sensors into things, it was pointless because I could only press half Pray the buttons and so yeah. I'd, get, I'd get beaten up in Mortal, oh, no. Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> I can for move, instance. but I can't attack. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, yeah. And, um, and before, uh, I mean, you were talking about the, the strength of character and mm -hmm. uh, energy behind things. I mean, Adamantine Hearts, before I roll into that um, in a few minutes, Explain to me the background to that and the energy behind that song. Well, um, I picked the word adamantine. Um, well, a lot of people have, uh, rec will recognize it from certain different uh, video games or gaming groups. It's uh, the name of a uh, faction in Mage the Awakening, which is a World of Darkness uh, gaming uh, game. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's also apparently in Kingdom Hearts and some other things. And it also sounds a bit like adamantian, which is uh, Wolverine's metal there. Oh, but um, the reason I picked the word is because uh, I, I looked it up, I looked up the meaning, and it means something, it's a mineral that is harder than diamond. It's like the hardest, hardest mineral you could imagine. Oh, really? And it also means a really bright light. Mm. So I, I picked out the, the idea of having an adamantine heart um, being that you, you stay strong to yourself and you stay true to yourself and you know you don't care about what makes you different from the world and and um, what casts you aside. It's about basically being kind of like an outcast, like from society and, and just being okay with that and just banding together with your friends and being proud of who you are. I'm curious about one particular lyric in this song, and that is, <laughs> okay. that is find the rage in your heart. Now, I mean, I kind of try and spend quite a lot of my life not trying to be <laughs> rage at things. So, uh, I mean, I think the way, the way you sing it, it's almost like release the rage, not just find it. And it's, it's a case of like, I think a lot of us have rage inside of us that we don't, that we try and pretend doesn't exist, but it's, it's pretty much what you said. Yeah, find it and release it. Find it and let it go. Like, and also just find that rage. Find what makes you angry that you can't be yourself and, and use that and be like, okay, well, if you're angry at society for not accepting you, then 
you know, let's do it. Let's just be ourselves. They can accept us or they can't. Yeah. Find that rage and use it. Like, don't obviously break things, but find it and release it and, and don't be ashamed of it. Well, a friend of mine once said that she was sat at the bottom of a flight of stairs at a tube station, unable to move up them because of uh, leg problems, and mm. basically got the way up by being very, very angry that yeah. she couldn't. Um, and, and that does work. It gives you some kind of adrenaline boost. So. Yeah, and, um, and my, our good friend on this show, uh, Laura Kazum of uh, Dancing With Pain, was mm -hmm. on this show talking about breaking bottles in her backyard as a kid <laughs> to get rid of her frustration. And, um, and that kind of is a, you know, that's a controlled space. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, frankly, I don't do it, but it's like I can imagine some people going to a shooting range for the same kind the of same, thing as yeah. opposed to... Um, I used to beat up my pillow. I used to hold it against the wall and hit it. <laughs> yeah, and that's... Uh, <laughs> that's a good way to get rid of the anger. Yeah, I... I uh, yeah. I've ended up hurting myself a couple of times doing things like that. I need to work out ways that aren't so painful, yeah. if I'm absolutely honest. Punching bag. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, no, pillow pillow works, although I've got, Pillow's like, memory foam stuff, so it doesn't actually dent that much. Oh, no. <laughs> Does that make like, you even angrier? Yeah, You're just it just like, absorbs the fist. Even more. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, um, so, yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, that's as good a time as any to... Okay, so basically, I haven't mentioned your website, so we'll get okay. there. Um, you are, you're on KieranStrange.com, aren't you? So it is, yeah. It's K-I-E-R-A-N, and then strange as in weird. And that's uh, dot .com, that's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, Blinker. and... <laughs> you name it. I mean, it's not there. hard to remember it, but if you, if, you know, you can always find it through us as well. And frankly, at the moment, with the server issues I'm having, the easiest <laughs> place is, is Twitter at LightChronic, C-H-R-O-N-I-C. And, um, and this is as good a time, uh, this is basically, we're running out of time anyway, so, um, this is, ha yeah. this is, and has been Technical Difficulties, I am Tim Abbott, with my very chatty and, <laughs> and, uh, enjoyable guest, Kieran Strange, reminding you to wear your scars with pride, and remember, we all have technical difficulties. Goodbye. This is Adamantine Hearts. <laughs>